Hello, I am Dr. Shivani Sooth, gastroenterologist at Bacchus Hospital and at Norwich Gastroenterology Associates. Today I will be speaking to you about colorectal cancer and its prevention. Colorectal cancer, also known as colon cancer, is a cancer that affects the large bowel, which includes your colon and your rectum. Each year, more than 145,000 people are diagnosed with colon cancer in the United States, and 50,000 people die from it annually. Colon cancer is the third most common cancer diagnosed in men and in women in the United States. It is the third leading cause of cancer-related deaths in the United States in both men and women. 90% of people whose colon cancer is found at an early stage are alive five years after the diagnosis. But just 40% of colon cancers are diagnosed at an early stage. Colon cancer is often present in people without any symptoms. This is why screening for colorectal cancer is so important. The following signs or symptoms, however, might indicate colorectal cancer. Blood in your stools, narrower than normal stools, unexplained abdominal pain, unexplained change in bowel habits, unexplained anemia, unexplained weight loss. If you experience any of these symptoms for more than a few days, I encourage you to speak with your physician about them. A history of inflammatory bowel disease such as ulcerative colitis or Crohn's disease, increases your risk of colorectal cancer. If you had colorectal cancer previously, chances of developing cancer in other areas of your colon or rectum are greater. Having a history of polyps increases the risk of developing cancer, especially if they are large or if there are many of them. Women with a personal history of breast cancer, ovarian, or uterine cancer are at greater risk of developing colorectal cancer. If you have close relatives, parent, sibling, or child who have had colorectal cancer, your risk is increased, particularly if they developed colorectal cancer when they were younger than 50 and more than one generation is involved. In some families, members tend to develop hundreds of polyps in their colon or rectum. Cancer often develops in one or more of these polyps. It is important to note that more than 85% of colorectal cancer occurs in peoples with no family history. Some of the other risk factors are age. More than 90% of those diagnosed with colorectal cancer are older than age 50. Ethnic background and race. Alaska Natives, some American Indian tribes, and Jews of Eastern European descent, especially the Ashkenazi Jews, have a higher rate of developing colon cancer. Colorectal cancer disproportionately affects African Americans. They are more likely to be diagnosed with colon cancer in advanced stages. As a result, death rates are higher for these populations. While you cannot control these risk factors, there are many other risk factors that you, that you can control. Making informed lifestyle choices can potentially reduce your risk of developing colorectal cancer. Risk factors you control include diet. A diet low in fiber and high in fat, especially fat from animal sources, can increase the risk of developing colorectal cancer. Lack of exercise. Physical and inactivity may result in an increased risk for colorectal cancer. Obesity. Individuals who are overweight have a greater risk of dying from colorectal cancer. Smoking. Smokers are 30 to 40 percent more likely than non-smokers to die of colorectal cancer. And alcohol. Some studies indicate that moderate or heavy alcohol use, which is four or more drinks per week, has also been linked to colorectal cancer. This disease, however, is largely preventable with regular screening and treatable with early detection. The death rate from colon cancer has been dropping for the past 15 years. One reason for this is probably because polyps, which are small growths in the colon, 
that can grow and turn into cancer are being found by screening before they can develop into cancers. Also, colon cancer is being found earlier when it is easier to cure and treatments have improved. There are approximately one million survivors of colorectal cancer in the United States and the number continues to grow. Screening is done on individuals who usually have no signs or symptoms that indicate cancer. Current guidelines state that all men and women should undergo testing for the disease beginning at age 50. For African Americans, testing should begin at age 45. People with a high risk for colorectal cancer should be screened at an earlier age. Screening saves lives. Several tests are recommended for colorectal cancer screening. These are stool blood test, stool DNA test, flexible sigmoidoscopy, barium enema with air contrast, CT colonography, also referred to as virtual colonoscopy, and colonoscopy. Each test has its own pros and cons, and I encourage you to speak with your physician about the test that may be best for you. Colonoscopy has been given the gold standard rating above all screening options by the American Society for Gastrointestinal Endoscopy, American Gastroenterologic Association, American College of Gastroenterology, and the American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists. Colonoscopy allows for a complete evaluation of the colon and removal of potentially precancerous polyps. A colon bowel cleansing is required before the exam. The procedure uses a colonoscope, a thin tube with a light and video camera on the end of it, which allows the doctor to see the entire colon. If a polyp is found, the doctor can remove it immediately. Although most polyps are benign or non-cancerous, they can become cancerous. Since there is no method of predicting which polyp will or will not become cancerous, usually all polyps are removed. If anything else looks abnormal, a biopsy might be done. This test is generally done with intravenous sedation and is very well tolerated. Colonoscopy has high detection rate for polyps, including small polyps, and ability to remove them immediately during the procedure. It does require a complete bowel prep the night before to cleanse the colon. Unexpected events are complications, although rare, but may occur, and very small polyps may be missed. However, in carefully selected patients and in skilled hands of highly trained physicians, such as gastrointestinal specialists, the benefit of colonoscopy outweigh its risks. I am often asked about the things one can do to prevent colon cancer. We recommend a diet high in fiber, especially vegetable fiber, low in fat, and moderate to low in red meat. Avoid obesity. Engage in regular physical activity, about 30 minutes per day of moderate to vigorous exercise. Consider supplements with calcium limit alcohol intake, and don't smoke. Finally, I'd like to leave you with the message that colon cancer is largely preventable with regular screening and treatable with early detection. Screening saves lives. For further questions, feel free to contact us at Norwich GI Associates at 860-886-2655. Thank you.